I'm Tom, and welcome back to the garage. All right, thanks for joining me. Here we are, video number two. Um, I'm gonna kind of walk you through some of the progress. As you can see from the first video, I've made some progress on the camper. Um, this video series isn't really gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build your own camper. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through during various stages of the build, kind of talk about what I've done, how I've done it, how I've put things together. Um, so maybe it'll give some people some ideas for their own builds. Maybe they can take some of the ideas that I've put into this trailer and apply it to their own. So stick with me here. I'm gonna take you for a little walk around the camper so far and let you know how I'm making out. All right, here we are at the side of the camper. I've kind of got the window and the door just kind of dry fit in there right now. And I'm actually just gonna take the window out because uh, I don't want it to fall out of there and break. But uh, this should give you an idea of kind of where I'm at. In my first video, I had talked about making the trailer five feet tall. And uh, as most of you probably know, sheets of plywood are four by eight. So it was a bit of a challenge to try and extend it up the extra foot. But what I've done here is I've got pocket holes drilled all along this top one foot section. Uh, and that's glued and pocket screwed in nice and flush on this lower four by eight sheet of three quarter inch plywood. So now that gives me this five foot box height that I was looking for. Um, and it actually makes a big difference on the inside of the trailer to give you a little bit more space uh, when you're inside of there. Now, uh, I think in the first video, I didn't quite have the floor constructed yet. Um, but what this is, is there's, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's three layers of three quarter inch plywood. And what that is, is there's a three quarter inch sheet along the bottom that's been undercoated with a rubberized undercoating. Then there's three quarter inch by two inch wide furring strips all along the outside and in line with all of the supports on the trailer. And then I've put three quarter inch foam board insulation in between those pockets uh, to insulate the floor. All the seams got tuck taped um, so I don't get any kind of airflow through there and it holds the, the insulation and the temperature a little bit better. Uh, and then there's another three quarter inch sheet of plywood that's on top of that that actually forms the floor and that got glued and screwed down. Uh, that was tongue and groove plywood. Uh, so because it's a five foot wide trailer, um, I had to cut a one foot strip and tongue and groove it together. So that all got glued uh, and screwed together. Now there's two layers that you can see here. Uh, the third layer is actually st set back. So this wall panel sits on a three quarter inch notch. And then uh, this is also pocket screwed down into those two layers of three quarter inch plywood, the furring strip and then the full sheet that forms the bottom of the trailer. Now that whole floor is carriage bolted down to the trailer frame. So it's not going anywhere. Um, and then as you can see here, I've, I've uh, jigsawed out these holes and that's gonna be where I'm gonna add insulation before I cap the trailer on the inside and on the outside. Um, so in these pockets, I mean, obviously aside from the window and the door, but all of these pockets are going to get filled in with three quarter inch insulation. On the inside, I've got about one eighth inch Luon that's gonna get glued on the inside for the inside wall finish. And then on the exterior, um, I'm gonna also use about one eighth inch Luon that's going to get glued to the Phylon. Uh, when that gets applied to the trailer. So it's gonna be a nice sandwich panel uh, that should hopefully uh, hold a lot of heat. The roof's also gonna get insulated. Um, the spars for the roof are inch and three quarter. Um, so I wanted to give myself a little bit of space for some extra insulation and to run the wiring that's gonna go from the tongue box all the way up the roof of the camper. Um, and then from the underside, again, one eighth inch Luon uh, is gonna form the finish. The roof's gonna get insulated, and then the cap over top, again, one eighth inch Luon uh, with the Phylon board on top. 
So uh, stick with me here. I'm going to take you on the inside and give you uh, a shot of what the inside of the camper looks like so far. So here we are on the inside of the camper. I actually used um, a nicer sanded three quarter inch plywood that's forming the uh, bulkhead between the galley um, and the cabin. Uh, and then the front wall of the camper is also a nice sanded plywood um, so that it's, it forms the finished wall on the inside of the camper. Kind of what my plan is right now, I'm gonna have an upper set of three cabinets um, up at the top here. And then I'm also planning, because it's five feet tall, I'm gonna put um, a small two foot bunk here, kind of above where our feet would go. Uh, that's for one of my kids to uh, sleep on. They're still pretty young, so they're not quite five feet long yet. So they'll be able to sleep on that bunk uh, when we're out and about. So I did want to point out a couple of things that I kept in mind, uh, especially when I was doing this front wall, as well as the wall between the galley and the cabin, is because there's a joint here where I join the, the four foot sheet to the one foot sheet to form the five foot walls, I wanted to make sure that I staggered the joint for the front wall and the back wall so that when the tra trailer is moving down the road, there's not a consistent joint there and it actually stiffens the trailer up quite a bit uh, with, that, with that joint not lining up. So I offset that joint. Again, same as the side walls, uh, this panel's pocket screwed to the panel below, uh, which actually forms a, a really strong uh, connection here. And then it's pocket screwed into the side walls as well and all along the bottom and the other side. So here we are at the back uh, where the galley is going to be. Um, I've got a four and a half foot wide um, strip up here. That's going to be the top where I'm going to mount um, the hinges for the galley hatch. I'm hoping to make the galley hatch as big as possible. Hopefully uh, it'll end up being about the same size as the opening here. Uh, so it should be a fairly good size. I want to get some protection underneath there when it's open uh, and I'm cooking back here. Uh, but again, I'm planning on having an upper set of cabinets running along the top, uh, a countertop running along here, a slide out for a, uh, a cooler, and then uh, likely a sink with a 12 volt pump. One of the things I'll also mention similar to the front, I staggered that seam and pocket screwed that extension panel up there. Uh, to the lower panel and it's it's staggered from the uh, the side wall seam there so it locks everything together uh, nice and tight so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little update video on video number two I'm hoping to make some decent progress for video number three uh, I'd really like to get the interior panels glued and in place get the uh, wall insulation put in those pockets um, get the roof panel on uh, and then I'll likely get ready to start putting the file on on the side walls um, before I start wiring from the tongue all the way up through the back of the trailer. Um, I'd also like to give a quick shout out to a few other YouTubers and, and some of the videos that I've been watching that's kind of given me some inspiration for this build. Uh, one of them is Oregon Batman. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, your videos are great. If anybody's looking for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build uh, a camper, Oregon Batman's videos are probably one of the better ones out there. Um, that guy's a true craftsman. He knows what he's doing, and his trailer came out professional looking. So uh, shout out to you, Oregon Batman. Uh, and then also Camp and Camera. Uh, your series as well was excellent. Uh, so if anybody's looking for some ideas and some step-by-step -step instructions, I highly recommend that you check out uh, both of those guys' YouTube channels. All right, well, take care. Hope you enjoyed the video and stick with me for the next one. Uh, if you like this one, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, I'll try to get back to you.